Hello and thanks for tuning into another HumanWare Snapshot tutorial video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWare's Product Manager of Blindness Products. In this video, we're going to showcase the syncing capability of the new Brilliant 14 to be able to take notes while completely offline with your Brilliant if you're in a meeting or a class. And the second that you actually pair with your iPhone or connect to your iPhone, those notes will then be synchronized across any device that's using your email. It's really powerful because regardless of whether you want to access those those notes on uh, your iPhone or your PC or in your iPad, any other device that's using your email, you can definitely do that. So what we're going to do is focus first on the Brilliant Sync application that is available for free on the App Store. You just search for Brilliant Sync, B-R-A-I-L-L-I-A-N-T-S-Y-N-C on the App Store. And you see that it's on my home screen now. So what I'm going to do is uh, on my home screen, I'm going to choose the Brilliant Sync application. So there's Brilliant Sync, and I'll double tap. Brilliant Sync. And on the Brilliant Sync screen, the home screen of the Brilliant Sync, uh, the Brilliant Sync application, we have a few items. So I'm just going to swipe down from the top. Brilliant Sync. And I'll Adding. swipe right. Brilliant device. Adding. It says Brilliant device. C1B. And it's got a whole bunch of letters and numbers right now. Uh, eventually, that will show the uh, the serial number when we begin shipping. I'm going to swipe right again. And, it, and here's the account. So right now you see, if I swipe right, Gmail. I have my Gmail account, which is what we're going to show today. I'll swipe right again. Add account. And you have add an account. So if I want to add a Gmail account, what I can do is double tap. Add a alert. Account provider. And you can choose whether you want it to be a, Select account I'm just provider. swiping right. Google. You can have a Google account or other. an other account. And if you do an other account, you have to manually fill in your server name and the port number along with your username and password. Um, that, that would be for things like uh, iCloud or for, uh, for, for Microsoft or uh, you know, Office 365, things like that. So in this case, if we, I'll take you to the Google screen just so you can see what that's like. So I'll tap on Google, Google. and double tap. And now we're at the Google login screen, which is very simple. I'm just going to, if you can sign in, I'll swipe right. To continue to, Brilliant Sync, email or phone, tech next. You can email. have your email, phone, and then you hit next, and you have to type in your password, and that's it. It's very, very simple. Um, once it's done, you'll have your Gmail set up and ready to go in Brilliant Sync. So I'm going to exit out of this. Done. Okay. done. We'll go back to my Brilliant Sync. So now you see that. It says Gmail is currently idle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my Brilliant, which I have next to me, and I'm going to flip that switch to the left. And now with that switch flipped to the left, I am back at my Brilliant's main menu or the, the, the starting menu, which shows the, the, uh, the clock telling me what time it is. And if I flick my joystick right or press my next thumb key, I see notes is my first option. I'm going to press in on the joystick or activate that by pressing enter. And now I see the different email accounts that I have. In this case, Gmail is the only one that I have. So I'm going to press in on that, uh, on that item. And I see that I have one note already created, but I'm going to create a new note by pressing space with N. And now I have a blank note and I'm going to just call this note one. I'm just typing on my brilliant. I'm going to press a new line by pressing enter, which shows all eight dots showing a new line character. And I'll just type in, this is a test uh, of typing a note. So there, I've typed in my first note. I'm going to press space with E to exit. And I've now created my first note. So now, as soon as I am done, you're going to see now on this screen, so I'll, I'll tap on this again. Gmail. It says Gmail idle. Now, at this stage, it should switch over to syncing here because I do have a pairing with my, my account. And now, account. Gmail. Syncing. you see Gmail, Gmail is now syncing. I forced to sync by pressing space with S uh, on the, the list of notes. And you see now that it is... Uh, it, it says Gmail idle, which means the sync is complete. I'm now going to switch over on my iPhone, go to the app switcher by pressing the home button twice. I'll go to my notes application on my Brilliant, or I'm sorry, on my iPhone by double tapping. Notes. Full Gmail. Notes. One note. Keep notes. One note. 
And I still have only one note there. And now you see that it's synced and I have now two notes. If I double tap on this, you see that I have one note called far and I'll swipe right. And now you see there's the note one if I double tap. And there you go. This is a test of typing a note. You saw that instantaneously it synced with my iPhone and that would be available on any device using my Gmail uh, as an email account. So whether it's my iPad, my computer, using Outlook, any of those devices will have the ability to read those notes and I'd be able to open that up in the notes folder on Outlook and be able to access it. So the beauty of this is that I can go into a meeting without having the Brilliant paired with anything. I can take notes in the internal notes application in Braille um, using contracted or uncontracted Braille. And the next time that I pair with my iPhone, those notes are gonna be synchronized with my iPhone or with whatever device is using my Gmail account. So I hope you found this video helpful um, to set you up using the, uh, the note synchronization on your Brilliant uh, with the Brilliant Sync application. And uh, we look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks a lot.